Bluff Gaming here with a quick tutorial about metabolism and food in Scum, the new early access game that just hit Steam. When playing Scum, you want to try to keep your calorie balance and your water balance in the positive territory by eating and drinking plenty of food and water. You can find a lot of food by going through towns, but you may occasionally find yourself finding canned food that you're not able to open without a can opener. So if you don't have a can opener, look around for basic food like corn and mushrooms that you can find in fields or in containers. For drinking, you can find sodas pretty easily, but even more plentiful are rivers and lakes around the map. Also, it's not terribly hard to find a pump in a town where you can fill your water bottles or drink directly. Take a look at the metabolism tab and you'll see that your stomach volume shows you how much food and water you've eaten recently. If this goes above 100, you're going to start vomiting, so be sure to manage that properly. Your colon and bladder volume will tell you how soon it is until you have to pee or poo, and if you need to do those, just hold tab and go to the toilet icon. Search in kitchens and houses and out in fields where you might see things like olives, corn, or cucumber being grown in large quantities. Of course, if you can hunt an animal using either a rifle or a thrown spear, you will get a tremendous amount of meat from things like boar or deer. Despite all the icons and things that are being tracked, it really isn't that complicated of a system. You just have to eat a varied diet and keep those two balanced stats in the positive. If you'd like to know more, stick around for the rest of the details. Thanks for sticking around. If you're new to Bluff Gaming, Bluff stands for bottom line up front. I get all of the important parts of the tutorial and I put it right up front in the beginning of the video so you can watch what you need to see and get right back to your video game as soon as possible. If you want more details, you just stay to this part right here and then I go from beginning to end. Now, if you take a look, my calorie balance is negative right now. Whenever your calorie balance goes negative, that's when you start getting a notification that you're hungry. Similarly, whenever your water balance goes negative, you're gonna start having issues. If you see in the bottom left where my energy stat is down at 97%, it doesn't matter if I rest, that number is going to continue going down so long as my balance is negative. That actually does not have anything to do with the fact that my stomach is empty. It just has to do with the amount of calories I've taken in recently versus how many I've used. To increase the balance, obviously all you have to do is eat food. And I've taken the liberty of gathering a lot of food so that we can take a look at exactly how this works. So let's start by looking at what types of nutrients we need. Uh, you have your different vitamins here and your minerals here. Uh, right now we're doing pretty well on several of these vitamins. All the green ones we're doing well. And then we have one at 98%, which might as well be good. Um, we're really low on B12, E, and K. And then A, D, and B6 are all running a bit low. We'd like to increase those and different foods will play a different role in raising those. For instance, if you need more vitamin C, go look for some fruit. Vitamin D, look for dairy. Although you don't always have that luxury to get the perfect food for yourself and sometimes you just have to take what you can get. So I only recently started this game and taking what I can get is exactly what I'm going to be doing. My stomach's empty, so I'm free to eat whatever I like right now. Let's start by eating this cob of corn right here. And you can see as I finish eating it, I hit 100% of the corn in my stomach. My stomach volume has increased to 19% because there's a big thing of corn sitting in there. And what's going to happen is that this corn is going to slowly make its way into my intestines and then from there slowly into the colon. When your colon fills to 100%, it's time to take shit. He'll shit for you if you don't do it yourself. Same with your bladder. If your bladder hits 100%, it's time to take a whiz. And if you don't want to be doing this in the middle of a combat or a time when you're trying to be stealthy, you might want to watch those gauges yourself. Try to keep your stomach volume below 100%. If you break 100%, you'll start to vomit. Now there may be a time when you want to vomit and you want to trigger it yourself. And as I already mentioned, you're going to need to pee and poo every now and then as well. To do those things, hold down your tab button, click on the toilet, and then you find the options for piss, poop, and vomit. Since my bladder volume is pretty high already, let's go ahead and take a piss.
the things we have done with technology. Okay, as he finishes, you'll see my bladder volume drop. It goes down to zero. Now, if you decide to poo, you're going to see that your colon volume doesn't always go down to zero. Sometimes it only drops maybe 50% or so, and that's because you don't really get all of it out. You don't want to get a hernia trying to push all that out, right? So amidst all this talking, you see my corn has been going down. Well, as it goes down, certain things like fiber, for instance, which you get from corn, are going up. Similarly, my carbs are going to go up as I digest this corn. Other things that the corn doesn't have are going to be going down. Eventually, this corn will finish digesting and it will disappear from here. However, you can eat multiple things and have multiple pieces of food and multiple liquids all digesting at the same time. So let's eat this cucumber and take a look at how multiple items can be digested. Our stomach volume has increased significantly. It must have been a pretty big cucumber. We're over 50% full in our stomach and you see the cucumber is now being digested. Now, as you can imagine, a raw piece of corn isn't terribly juicy compared to a cucumber. And you'll see how the cucumber is primarily blue all the way around. That's because you're getting a lot of liquids from your cucumber as well, more than you get from the corn. These different vitamins are going to continue going up or down depending on what I've eaten recently. Same with the minerals and then also with our base food categories up here. Now, my water balance is pretty high, but I do want to show drinking. So let me go ahead and come down to this river where we can drink a bit of water. If you get close enough to the river, just hit F to drink and you'll drink 200 milliliters. So five times drinking is gonna get you one liter of water. You can also get things like orange juice or canned soda. These are gonna help you not only with quenching your thirst, but also with different vitamins and sugar and things like that. A lot of people have trouble finding sugar early game and that can easily be solved by finding a few things of soda. If you can't find a lake or a river nearby, look for a water pump in a town. These are great places for you to drink as well. If you have an empty container that can hold a liquid, you can select that container and then use the pump to fill it. My water container is full right now though, so it's not an option for me. So let's take a look at our metabolism. You see I'm almost done with that 200 milliliters of water. Let me go ahead and drink a couple more times so we can see a few of those in progress at once. And there we have it. Our calorie balance is positive again. So you see our energy has gone up to 100 and it will continue to go up. Our calorie balance will continue to go up so long as we have food digesting here and we aren't spending more calories than we're digesting. An easy way to increase your vitamins is to find either a blister pack or a box of vitamin pills. Once you do that, you can eat them and they'll help your balance as well. As you can see, there's no water in our vitamins. That's all we got were just pure vitamins and they're going to convert into all of these vitamins right here. And those will all be going up shortly. If you find yourself hurt and you want to increase your health, as you see, I only have 78, stay well fed and that will help the healing process. But also make sure that if you have any injuries that you're tending to them properly. You can see now that our physical injury is treated and we are much better. If you eat a bad mixture of food or even some poison food, you'll find that your character can get sick in other ways. For instance, you can start vomiting or you can get diarrhea. Just like in real life, you'll need to account for these sicknesses and adjust your diet to avoid or treat them. As complicated as it looks, the metabolism system in SCUM isn't all that complicated. It just has a lot of variables. Eat well, eat a varied diet, and you'll find that you won't have very much trouble at all keeping this calorie balance high and the different nutrients in a good balance. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any ideas of other topics you'd like for me to cover on SCUM, just leave a comment below. 
please feel free to like and subscribe. I wouldn't be a YouTuber if I didn't ask that, right? But please don't dislike. If you dislike, I'm gonna have to take my dog out back, show him that there's a cat in the distance, and then bring him right back before he has a chance to park. This has been Bottom Line Up Front, and as always, thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time.